So this is the 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement and all year we've been honouring that and looking at the progress since the agreement and the road ahead. With this programme of visiting Northern Ireland writers, we get an opportunity to look at the Good Friday Agreement through the prism of culture and through literature and through the individual experiences of these three women writers. We're going to New York, we're going to Philadelphia, we're going to Boston, we're going to Syracuse, we're going to Washington DC. I'm very excited to be in America right now because I'm just about to publish my eighth book, but it's going to be my very first book with an American publisher. I think that for the three of us who are on this tour, having the time, the space and time to have conversations is really important. I am mostly excited about the conversations and meeting for real, you know, face to face because my first book came out in 2020 and during COVID and everything shut down, everything became a Zoom call. And I've never been to Boston in my life, so I'm very excited about the Boston event. One of the really important uh, opportunities that the Bureau has now is to talk about the flourishing creativity uh, that's to be found in the modern Northern Ireland. And the three authors who were here this evening and who were in New York just a couple of nights ago and I heard them on both nights, they interact incredibly well together to present a really rich uh, impression of that particular wave of, of excellence that's emerging from Northern Ireland. To be heartwarmed and enlightened by these authors was an amazing and unexpected experience. Three extraordinary women with divergent stories across multiple communities in Northern Ireland and just a wonderful evening. I think one of the things these writers brought was the sense of diversity of perspectives. Um, so I will definitely be reading their books, teaching their books, um, and I'm looking forward to reading more. We're very excited to bring these three writers to the US and also to celebrate that they now all have US publishers. And because of this timing and because of this moment, this is why we've called it a new chapter, Women Writing Northern Ireland Now.